Everton versus Burnley. Tang Zangs. It is a Corey! What a save! Come on, turn. Ball in! Goal! Burnley have scored! Bend me with a header! Burnley lead at Goodison Park! Kane! It's in! It's one all for Everton! What a ball from Tangs and what a header from Keane! Tangs and! What a goal! What a finish! And it puts Everton 2 1 up. What a goal, said. He just unleashed it. I didn't think he was going to shoot from there. Fair play to him. What a finish. This now puts Everton on level points with United, Liverpool, Chelsea. Oh, here we go. It's Everton again. It's Damari Gray. Don't know why the sound's off, but Gray is three. Damari Gray scored again. He's on fine form for Everton and he perfectly slots it past Burnley. What was it, like 30 seconds after Townsend has scored? Everton are 3 1 up. It's absolutely incredible scenes for them. Burnley have gone from looking so comfortable to getting absolutely flatlined and steamrolled. Time's out again. Surely not again. Oh, he nearly did it again. Into Decore. Gomez. How has he not made it for? Gunmanson on the ball. He assisted the first one with the cross. Puts in a good cross again. A header again. It's two. And <laughs> Burnley are back in it. Oh, are they? Ah, oh, Tarkovsky, you party pooper linesmen, you fucking frauds. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to be a climactic last 15 minutes then, you fucking party pooping frauds. Whew! I think I'm going to need a breather after that second half because it actually spiced up. The game spiced up. We had four goals in the end. All of the goals were scored in the second half. The game could be summed up as a tale of two halves. I think the first half was definitely Burnley going for it and getting the better of an Everton side who were becoming increasingly frustrated. But fair play to Rafa. He stuck to his system. He stuck to his guns. And in the second half, Everton just had a six-minute spell of bliss. They really, really did. All three goals came within a six-minute period. Everton were absolutely exquisite after their goal. They really pushed for it they really went for it Andros Townsend take a bow so what a goal that is you know just when you think that Bruno Fernandes may have the goal of the week on lock for Manchester United Andros Townsend says okay I'll give you a little something to think about it just smashes it top bins the way it dipped absolutely phenomenal the way he hits it is superb Nick Pope is an absolute giant jack of the beanstalk things and he just could not get anywhere near it Damari Gray got another goal and that just adds to his sublime start at Everton but what What's crazy as well is the start to the season that Everton have had in the past two years. The start of the Carlo Ancelotti was absolutely fantastic. They sit fourth now. They're on level points with Manchester United, Chelsea and of course Liverpool. It's just the goal difference that's not putting them joint top. But they are still there. So Rafa Benitez's starts with Everton has been absolutely fantastic. I don't know how the fans are going to feel. But so far they can hardly fault anything that he's done whilst in charge of Everton. Burnley's football has been shat on by every single fan who has watched the press. Premier League, rightly so over the past couple of years, because it has been punt the ball up long, hope someone gets a header, set piece merchants, but I like the way they're playing football this year, they're actually trying to attack and go forward and not just shit out their way through games. That being said, Everton definitely deserved their win tonight, played some great football, scored some great goals, and yeah, in the end, it turned out to be a very entertaining game, despite the first half being a bit lacklustre. So yeah, don't shit on Monday Night Football, people.